this is Nigel Golt, Managing Director of Olympic Limited and welcome to the overview video for the releases of MAP 3.5 and 3.6. Um, this video is covering two releases. Uh, the main reason for that is that the 3.5 version, which released about 10 days ago, um, we had uh, a request that popped up shortly after that was released uh, in one of the Mindjet forums that we thought we might be able to uh, add to uh, to map and we thought that it would be good to get that out as well so we did a, a second 3.6 release that included that functionality and we'll show you that in a little bit so new for for these two releases they're interim updates so they're, they're not a major release there's no uh, l new license key or upgrade required you simply need to download and install the new version and your current license key will make sure that everything is unlocked for you um, as I said, we've got some new functions, uh, the Outlook Mail Map, uh, some of you may have already been playing with that, uh, and the Property Clipboard has had an improvement where we've added the ability to enable the bulk copying and pasting of Smart Fill properties, and we're going to show you that as well. So first of all, let's move on to the, the, the main function that we added in, in the 3.5 release, uh, that was the Outlook Mail Map. Um, now, the Outlook Mail Map was something that was developed because I had a need for this for myself. Um, I have uh, a very um, detailed uh, stru folder structure in my Outlook uh, account where I store all of the things such as the, the sales uh, the sales receipts that come into us and um, any of the purchase receipts that we have and invoices and that kind of thing. Um, and the reason that this came uh, came up as a as a problem for me is that at the end of our financial year, I wanted to be able to basically pull all of those emails from that from that folder structure into a map, so that I had uh, a broken down document that I could search through uh, for reference. Um, the idea behind that is I wanted to be able to store it into a single file that I could then store with all of my other accounts information in a zip and and then close them off for the year, rather than. Uh, have them still active in the in the Outlook PST file. So I tried to do that with uh, the the My Manager uh, dashboard for Outlook here, um, but I found that there was a, a problem in that uh, although I can query the inbox, uh, I couldn't query folders that were outside of the inbox root, so other folders that I'd created that were on their own effective root structure. Um, and also if I did do the inbox that it wouldn't actually pull in the subfolders it would only pull in the emails that sat within the root folder um, so that wasn't really going to achieve what I was looking for so Outlook Mail Map was the result um, of being able to sort of offer that to not only myself but also other users of Map so I'm going to try and demo this for you uh, it's going to be tricky because I've had to set up a, a, a second PST because obviously we don't want to be working with live data for uh, data protection reasons and that kind of thing and privacy and confidentiality so we'll give it a go on the on the dummy I've set up and hopefully that will give you an idea of what's going on so Outlook Mail Map has been added to uh, the group that we've now renamed, it used to be the Exports group, we've now renamed that as Imports Exports um, so that we can start to add more of these Outlook is the first of those um, but we hope to add a few more of those as things progress uh, so basically with a topic selected I'm going to activate the command and then you'll see uh, this window slide into view which basically lists the PSTs that our Outlook application has. Um, now obviously I have two because I've set one up to be able to play with without uh, using live data. Um, underneath this we've got some options that we can set to include different elements of the emails that we pull in. So you might actually want to just pull in the email and the, the body text into, into the text notes of the topic which is fine um, and you can choose to do that. Uh, obviously if you deselect some of these then the actual processing of the of the folders especially if they're large speeds up uh, quite dramatically and the more options you have checked then the longer the process will take so we're going to use it use it with everything checked for the moment so we can show you the full uh, full demo I click import um, it then goes off it calculates how many mails are and then goes through a process uh, of showing you that progress take place and then it puts the uh, the results back into the map on as a subtopic of the of the topic that you had selected. So you can see here this was the inbox. Uh, I only had one mail inside that inbox and also two folders. Um, now from the options we set you could see I chose to include some email properties and this puts a custom property box with currently the two from and sent and received properties. We are going to expand these to other 
elements of the email um, over the course of the next few releases as well. The other thing that we chose to do was to add attachments. So uh, it's included the attachments. Uh, these are the ones that sit within my email uh, signature. Um, what it's also done, uh, because we also included to attach a copy of the email in MSG format, which is here. So this is the original email, which we can click and open inside a, a mail uh, a mail client, which will show us the full email, including attachments and everything like that, um, directly from the map. So that's quite useful as well. So the other thing we chose was to have the body text as notes, and you can see that they've been brought in as well. Um, basically, anything that's HTML is converted to plain text, and we've done our best to try and strip as much as we can of the white space out so that what is returned is actually got a very readable um, set of uh, text within the topic notes. And as you can see, it's brought in the subfolders that I've got, and inside there we can now see the other couple of emails that were sat within the, within those folders for the purpose of this demonstration. So, as I said, the other thing um, that we found with the inbuilt uh, functionality for this is that it would only allow us to pick from certain folders, one of those being the inbox. So if I activate this again, you can see here um, I've actually got uh, a miscellaneous folder that was set up. Now this is outside of the inbox. Now if I tried to reach this folder with the, the current capability in my manager, I can't do that. Um, so we've enabled you to be able to reach folders that don't reside out of the, uh, the root inbox. So I'm just going to run that again. There's only a couple of emails or one email in there, I think. Two emails. And you can see that then that folder's now been brought in again with the, uh, the elements that I've requested. So this is, uh, I found this very useful because it's enabled me uh, to be able to pull in um, and basically archive uh, emails that I've already uh, had in managed folders so they're all uh, structured and I've been able to just select the root folder of that and just pull that into a map and then save that with uh, the ancillary files for my accounts for the year end and it's going to make things a lot easier for me when I want to find information um, outside of Outlook, uh, especially if it's going back two or three years. Um, it also means that I can keep my Outlook PST file size small by um, archiving off those mails into an archive PST, um, which I don't have to have open or loaded into Outlook at any time to find things. So that was Outlook Mail Map. So um, we're just going to move down our, our, our usual map here. Uh, functions and features removed. I'm glad, glad, glad to say there's none in these two releases. So we'll move on to uh, improvements. So on the improvements, as I mentioned before, we've created a, uh, an improvement on the property clipboard functionality, um, which allows us now to be able to copy and paste smart fill uh, code. So um, this is something that's actually, uh, it is possible to do. I'm just going to open up these topics for demonstration. Um, so. I have here uh, a smart fill. Um, I'm just going to show you that here. So I've got a smart fill set up on the Sales UK property. Um, Colour is going to go red, yellow, green, depending upon on the value. Now it is possible for me to copy and paste this um, with the current functionality in my manager. So if I wanted to do that, uh, I can come to the smart fill command, click copy. Um, I can then uh, select a topic. Uh, go back, click paste, and I can put the smart fill on. Um, that's great, but what it what it happens is, is you can only do that at one topic at a time. If you if you do a multiple select, then uh, that doesn't happen. It doesn't do all topics. Um, so what we've done with this improvement is it will enable you two ways to include smart fill when you're copying and pasting uh, topic properties. So the first way is. Um, I just show you this. If you have a property, a topic with properties, and you wish to copy everything, you would just select the top half of the property clipboard button. Um, that then copies all of the elements and uh, values from that particular topic. And now I can then go to these topics here and say, okay, I want to paste this onto three. I go back, click the top half again, and these topics have now been pasted with the identical properties that are located on the source topic. So if I now fill some of these in, so we'll make that 1000, AK 
Okay, let's make that uh, 15,000. You can see that the topics will change accordingly. 12,000. So that's a great way to be able to bulk paste these things um, and save you time when you've got smart fills that you want to apply to other topics throughout a map. Now you can also apply it um, on a standalone basis as well and also to existing uh, properties as well so um, we've got some uh, these other two topics here that I haven't touched yet they've just they've got no smart fill on them they've just got the values in on the properties now the way to do just the smart fill only um, is to again select the topic that contains the smart fill that you want to copy and this time we'll use the lower section of the button to select smart fill again the button changes the configuration so that we can now paste so we go to select we select multiple copies and we hit paste and you can now see that these have come in so to prove that that's right if we change that one to 12,000 again that goes yellow so as you can see it's a very um, small improvement that we've made to that but for people that are using uh, a lot of smart fills and, and have a requirement to be able to uh, set those up and then paste them onto uh, multiple topics in bulk then it is going to save you quite a bit of time. We've also got some fixes um, that we've uh, added to these versions as well. Um, there was a couple of issues with the topic sort um, which affected sort by property and quick sort commands. Um, basically we had an issue there where that the actual uh, GUIDs of the topics were being uh, renewed uh, when a sort uh, took place and that would have an impact if you had um, properties that were being used across uh, auto calcs or calculations to other properties in the map so uh, that's now been fixed so uh, GUIDs are no longer renewed or destroyed and recreated they they met they get maintained so that anything where you're referencing other topics should actually stay um, accurate uh, and also we had an issue with um, some percentage values on the filtering by property um, so we've also uh, addressed that now so that uh, percentage values can be filtered rather than uh, throwing the, the error that they previously did. Uh, as usual all of this has been added to the uh, to the help map um, so you can find details uh, on the new uh, functions here and obviously on the extended uh, property clipboard under the topic property section inside of the help um, so other than that, as usual, all that's left is just to have a look at what's happening. Um, the Q3 update should be out the end of August, so we'll be bring, bringing you some more improvements and functionality with that. Um, so basically that should be the end of this month and hopefully that one won't slip. Um, as usual, the best way to stay up to date with anything like this is to just follow us on Twitter if you can. Um, as soon as we release any updates or improvements, we always uh, push them out via Twitter. Um, so if you're following that, then uh, hopefully if you've got a, an indicator or a notification on our tweets, you'll be able to pick it up the minute that it actually goes live. Um, and failing that, uh, next actions really. For those of you who are new to My Manager add-ins and are watching this video for the first time, then obviously do check out some of our other add-ins. Um, they span various uh, different sort of topics and um, different ways in which you can apply my manager to your working day uh, and we recommend that you have a look at some of those um, as usual all the information and downloads and purchase options are available on our website at www.olympic-limited.co.uk so thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this overview video I hope you've seen something that uh, you think will make um, map uh, uh, a convenient companion to your my manager experience map does contain over 50 additional functionalities now um, in various different uh, areas which really do help you accelerate your mapping use so please do check it out thanks for listening and until the next time goodbye